Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well today we're just going to make a simple full width image section with text overlay. And this particular one we're using now has got a fixed background or CSS parallax they call it. With a bit of text overlaid and they've got a little background in there so you can read the text fine. Really easy to do. And that's a nice little thing to have on your site. People are rolling around. That's going to catch their eyes. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is enable the Visual Builder. Once enabled, let's go down and we'll simply delete this section here. OK, well, I'm going to start again. I'm going to hit the little blue button there for a new section. Although it is going to be full width, I'm going to use a regular section. So if you hit full width, it gives you a more limited amount of widgets that you can put in there. So I'm going to hit regular. I'm going to put it in one row and one column. And inside that column, I'll put a call to action. You can put any module you like in here. This is just to demonstrate the text effect for us. As you can see, it's put in a bit of text and a heading, and it's got a bit of a background in there too. So let's put in what we want there, and we'll take that background away initially and put back a different background. So I'm going to leave everything pretty much how it is there. Got a button. Let's make a little bit more text in there so it's deeper. I've got some lorem ipsum dummy text here. I'm just going to copy that and replace the content. There we go. And let's add an image. I may as well throw my logo in there like I did before between the heading and the actual text there. Like any other text module in WordPress, you can add media and align things as you will. I'm just going to add media. There's that little logo. And I'm just going to select it and make sure it's aligned center. There we go. You can go to the design tab. You can adjust everything in your design tab. Title text, we can make that a little bit bigger and perhaps make it bold. Let's capitalize it, why not? But everything else, really, I'm just going to leave it as it is. Yeah, that's fine. And let's now work on our section. What I'm going to do is I'll take the background away, and you're going to lose this writing because it's going to be white on white background. So we're back in the content section. We're in the background. I'm just going to hit the trash on that. It's just a background color there. Save our changes and we'll go to our section, the blue tab here. Hit the little cog for the settings. And here we can add our background. Now you can add a color, you can add a gradient, you can add an image, and you can add a video if you want to. Just upload MP4 or a WebM. Or you can add combinations of images and colors. So let's add an image first. And I guess I'll use the same image as I used before, which is that one of that house there. And that's OK. As you can see, I mean, that looks pretty good. You do lose the writing a bit there because it's a little bit busy. And to fix that, there's a few different options. If you want to use the parallax that we'll use in a moment, if I just switch this to on, there's true parallax. If I move this up and down, you'll see that image in the background moves, but it's moving at a different rate to the foreground. If we switch that to CSS parallax, or basically fixed background, that background image stays still now, and this rolls up and down. I quite like that. But if you're not going to use parallax, you get the opportunity to use an image blend. So if you've got that switched off, you can roll down. And there's an image blend, but what are you going to blend it with? Well, let's go back up and let's add a color as well. We can blend it with a color. We'll add black. Now, when I hit the blend, you're going to see it completely disappear. Now, I don't want it to be all black. I want it to be a little bit see-through. So I'll take that down a little bit. Now, let's go back to our image. And because the parallax switch is off, we can roll down 
and hit background image blend and you've got all kind of different types as you can see that's made it very dark if you want to adjust the level of darkness there simply go back into the black and bring the opacity or transparency down with this little slider here till it's where you want it and that's a nice little effect to have on your site right there well we're not actually going to use that today we're going to use the CSS parallax so I'll go back into the image and I'm going to switch this on we'll lose that background overlay color got it set to CSS and like I was saying I've kind of lost that writing a little bit in there when the image gets a little bit busy but we're going to fix that by just simply giving it an overlay so let's save the changes and we'll go back into our module the dark tab green for the row blue for the section dark for the module itself let's give it a background we took that funny colored one away and again I'm gonna give it black there we go but that's way too much so again I'm gonna click on the color I'm gonna pull it down to somewhere where I can see the image behind but I can still see read the writing quite well something like that even a little less that's another option for getting your your text readable and that's not too intrusive on the picture you can pretty much see most of that picture behind it so let's save our changes save the page changes save draft or publish if you're ready and exit the visual builder and there we have it we've got a simple full width image background that's staying where it is CSS parallax and a little text section over the top that's got a slight or an opaque background that makes it totally readable and like I say that's a nice little image to have on your site very easy to do with the Divi theme there so I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up ring the bell comment share and subscribe to our YouTube channel once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.